Well, it's been a minute since I posted anything up, made a video on anything. But uh, here it goes. We've been riding on Raven for about two months, and uh, it's going fairly well. Um, can't really complain. Miles have been pretty steady. Really haven't been sitting too much. I'm over here at the Sam's Club, gonna do a delivery in the early morning. And uh, then make the second part of the delivery. Uh, it's only like 30 miles away right after that. Um, but everything's been going pretty smooth. Like I said, miles are good, money's fine. And uh, not too much to complain about. Um, they like to stick you with beer loads that for some reason end up not having a lot of time on them and uh, that's the only real challenges I've had two loads that needed to have time increased on them on the delivery end of it and uh, I found that if you let them know this they'll more than likely change the time but it, it's sometimes like a struggle to get that to happen I'm not quite sure why Sometimes you see loads that appear to have been sitting and loaded on these lots for many days and then you get them with a small window to deliver them. It's just the way I guess it's set up sometimes. But nevertheless, I haven't been laid on a load, so that's good. Um, I've been talking to a couple of my friends and I definitely recommend them. Um, you know, I can't say they're worse than any other company I've worked for. Uh, I think they're better on a lot of aspects, and uh, and that's it. I mean, I'm just kind of beat down and tired. I've been, uh, I went out last time for four weeks, and this time, by the time I get home, will be another four weeks. I don't think I'm going to be doing four weeks again. It's just too long. Um, you seem to do good as far as my, I mean, I've been running recap, and I'll run recap until I get home. So I've been working every day, and I work 30 days without one day of not driving the truck. Um, so that kind of sucks because it kind of gets old after a while. <laughs> but it is what it is. I mean, if they keep giving me loads, then I'll keep moving them as long as I got hours and I have recap, which I do, then I'm, you know, I'm not going to turn it down. So um, that's pretty much that. One of the things that I see a lot of the discussion on has been um, taking loads and taking breaks and maybe not being able to do low. Here's the deal. Nobody forces you to do anything. It's not like they got a gun to your head to do a load or not or to make a delivery or not. If you can't do it or if you don't think you're going to be able to do it, don't do it. It's that simple. And if they want to fire you for it, then they'll fire you for it and you'll move on. Uh, you know, that that's not necessarily talking about Raven. That's just talking about in general. Um, but you have to make the best decisions for yourself when you're out here. Don't let the company take advantage of you. You know, you're not a machine. You're not a robot. You know, there's people out there that claim, uh, you know, you're not tough or you're not a trucker or... You know, don't give me that bullshit. To me, that's, that's straight up nonsense. Um, you ain't got nothing to prove to nobody. You know, and the thing about it is, you know, you can try to be tough and you could run tired and you could do this and do that. But at the end of the day, all it takes is you to mess up one time and kill yourself or kill somebody else and either you'd be dead or in jail. For what? For pennies per mile? Give me a break, man. It ain't worth it. You know what? If I see something sketchy, it's either going to be this is the time I can do it or you know this is the time you know if you tell me it's got to be there at nine in the morning whatever the time is it really doesn't matter but let's just say that's the time and I know I can only get there at 11 o'clock in the morning whether it's because I need rest or uh, it's just that's how much it's gonna be you know because the truck only goes so fast if you're not going to bump that delivery time to that time, like reschedule the load, then I'm going to tell you, this is the closest that I can make it. Do you want me to take the load or not? You know, because it, when it gets there at 11 o'clock, you can't give me a service failure because I'm telling you, this is what I can do. 
you know, I, I can do it and I can be safe about it and this is the time I can do it. So, if they don't want to hear that, you know, then they're not worth working for, quite honestly. And, uh, and that's just the way I feel about it. But, anyway, that's it. I've just been in the rain for the last God knows how many days. It seems like it rains every damn day. There's been a bunch of storms coming through. There was tornadoes and people dying in tornadoes. I mean, this is ridiculous, but... Over here where I am in Virginia, it's just been rain. So, you know, whatever. We deliver this in the morning and uh, hopefully move on. I'll probably end up picking up some beer and either heading back up north. Or, you know, it'd be nice to get south for a few days and maybe stay that way until I get home in about a week. So, but we shall see. So, Raven's a good way to go. Um... Like I said, not really any complaints. It's kind of nice now, you know, with the microwave and the fridge and the TV and all of that nonsense. Makes it a little bit easier. But like I said, I mean, seeing the family, it would be eight days in the last total of two months. That's not a lot of time to be spending home uh, when you have wife and kid at home. Um, so, yeah, you know, I don't really think that's going to cut it. I could try to do the two weeks on and then two days off, but even then it's going to get sketchy because, you know, they might not give you the two full days, and then that's a whole nother story. But, you know, that's that. I'm chilling in the parking lot here. There's a taco place over here. I think there was a pizzeria. So I'm probably going to end up hitting up that for dinner, which would be a nice change of pace. I've been eating on the truck for the last few days. Uh, I really don't eat out too much. It's just a waste of money. Um, Raven gives you that $25 card, which is nice that you can use uh, at the Pilot Flying J, which is pretty much where I go anyway. I don't like to go to TAs or Petro. I don't go to any Petros. I mean, I can't even remember the last time I've been to a Petro. And TA only is the last resort. I have no idea why. I'm just partial to, uh, to Flying J mostly. If I can get to a Flying J, they got everything I need and want, and I find them to be like the best truck stop. Um, pilot would be secondary because most of the time I just run into small pilots, but that card makes it a lot easier you know I got all my waters and usually I get milk water uh, and then coffee throughout the week sometimes breakfast sandwiches things like that and that's all on on the Raven card so that's pretty cool I'll give them that um, other than that like I said everything's been going smooth and uh, we're gonna see what happens though in the future as we get closer towards Christmas uh, how home time starts playing out if I could change one thing about Raven, it would be the home time. It would be either one of two things would happen. They have some kind of home time option where maybe you can get a little bit more home time. Most companies go at least 7-2, uh, not 7-1 anymore. Or at least make it so that the home time is the is the way most other companies are. In fact, when I, when I explained this to my fleet manager, uh, she kind of took it as bizarre that I had the notion that I was due... Uh, the home time that I felt that I was due. To me, I've always been under the impression that if you get home past, like, let's say 12 o'clock on a Friday, uh, that day really doesn't count as home time. Um, your days would start on, like, Saturday, Sunday, Monday if you had three days, and then you would launch out again on Tuesday morning. Here, it's, like, the hours. So if you get home Friday at 12 and you had three days off, you do back uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday afternoon at 12 you know and to me uh, I guess that's probably not going to work one of two things is probably going to happen either they're just going to let me do what I did last time which is going to be get home if it's Saturday uh, you know whatever time Saturday is not going to count I'm going to come home I'm going to take my days off and I'm going to launch out on whatever morning I'm due to launch out at. Uh, you're not going to get me to launch out at, like, you know, 6 o'clock at night. Whereas I would have to sleep on my home time day. That doesn't really seem like a very good uh, home time day. So either they're going to, I guess, work on me on that or they're going to cut me loose. I really don't know um, if it's worth it to them to cut me loose over that, you know, to go hire another driver the cost involved in that you know is is i guess more worth it to them than giving me the extra time whether it's seven eight nine twelve hours 
then so be it. I mean, I, you know, hey, it is what it is. If not, you know, then you know, I'll keep doing what I'm doing. Moving freight, on time, safe. Running a recap for a freaking month, I, you know, make still making 2,500 miles plus. Okay. You know, if that's worth it to them, then they'll just let me do what I got to do and, and, and see my family. But if I can't see my family and, and the timing isn't right, then you know what? Hey, it was fun while it lasted. So that's pretty much that. But, you know, I think if you're a single guy and you're doing the over-the-road business, man, you can't go wrong with Raven because they'll keep you out and you keep on moving. And you'll make good money doing it. So that's life. But anyway, I'm going to do my delivery uh, probably around 2 o'clock in the morning, unless I can somehow sneak it in earlier. I checked with them. They said, hey, maybe you could do it at 9 p.m. So I'll, I'll stay up until then and, uh, and see if they want to you know, go ahead and empty it out. And if not, then I'll just sleep for a little bit and swing it to the door at 2 o'clock in the morning. So, But other than that, I got some 4G internet, which is great, T-Mobile sucks ass pretty much but uh, for where I am they actually have service so it's some kind of miracle and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna burn the crap out of it basically I'm gonna use as much damn data as I can in one day as possible because I have unlimited maybe download as much stuff as I can and take advantage of it while I have it maybe even upload this crap but if you're watching and you're subscribing, then that's cool. If you got questions about Raven, uh, just hit me up. You know, I'll answer them as best I can. You know, you got me who puts up videos on Raven and just trucking nonsense in general. And you got Trainer James and a uh, little guy who, um, who I actually ran with, which was awesome, <laughs> out of uh, Tunkhannock, Pennsylvania. Ran with him for like a hundred and something miles down uh, 81 and he man I tell you what I needed it because he made me laugh like you wouldn't believe on the CB it was hysterical and uh, that was the most my probably the most in three years my CB's ever been used <laughs> I believe it and he was just cracking me up and then I split off at Carlisle and he kept on going but uh, it was really good running with him had a lot of fun but seek out their videos because they do a lot more on it and uh, they'll give you a lot more specific information. You know, I'm just lowly driver putting up a video every once in a while. So, But other than that, um, like I said, any questions on anything about Raven or just trucking in general from just a regular guy's point of view, uh, hit me up. Alright, peace.